the Division of Community Health and Humanities in the Faculty of Medicine at Memorial University, Newfoundland, aims to improve the health of the community through education, research and service, which is focused on the prevention of disease and the protection and promotion of health. The medical school is expanding. There's a brand new building that is being constructed at this time. The number of medical students is going to increase from 65 to 80. This means that we need more faculty members to teach in our disciplines. But also it allows us to have a research program that complements the work that is done. This division is very much focused on the whole issue of access and equity for people and how we serve actually people of Newfoundland. Colorectal cancer is one of the leading cancers in Canada. In this country, each year, there are more than 23,000 people are diagnosed with this disease, causing about 10,000 deaths. Newfoundland has highest incidence and mortality of colorectal cancer. My work here is try to understand what factors contribute to this disease. Newfoundland diet is known to be unique. In this problem, we believe the dietary factor and the lifestyle contribute greatly to this disease. In the past number of years, we have found, for example, Newfoundland have lower calcium and vitamin D intake. They take more red meat than other population. They are less physically active. We also found smoking and alcohol drinking are related to colorectal cancer in this province. Peter approached me because he has the expertise in epidemiology, which is actually analyzing the data and looking at the comparisons. But then what he wanted from me was expertise in regards to how do you collect this dietary intake data? How are you sure what food contributes what? You want to do something that's responding to the needs of the community. Community needs are further met through the MUN Med Gateway project, a volunteer program for medical students to improve access to healthcare for refugees. Within a couple of weeks of refugees arriving in the city, we actually see them at the Gateway project and medical students, first and second years, do a medical history with each person in a family who comes with a translator present and document it. And we then, within the next few days, find a family doctor for them in St. John's and get an appointment for them. So it saves the family doctor a lot of time, but it's also helpful to our refugee patient because they've had some initial screening done. Master of Public Health is a professional degree, course-based. It's designed to prepare students for work in the public health environment. Memorial is unique in that it is a 12-month program. We have quite an intense course-based program for two semesters and a work practicum for the third semester. As a medical student, this program certainly met all my needs for public health training. I can certainly recommend this program given its excellent faculty, its diversity in course offerings on campus and online, as well as the faculty support here. Bioethics in general is a growing research area across Canada. In fact, I think our division is really in the forefront of some of the really exciting and cutting edge research in bioethics. So we have faculty and graduate students here working on topics like ethical issues in genetics, ethical issues related to novel reproductive technologies, some of the issues around health research involving socially identifiable populations, topics like access to care and, and issues around justice and inclusion in healthcare. Aboriginal health research in, in our division is a growing field. We have a number of graduate students who are now starting to, to conduct research alongside um, Aboriginal communities in Labrador. Um, and the, the students are really working on some very complex and sensitive issues. So for example, topics such as suicide and community resilience in relation to suicide. What's really exciting is that um, the, the kind of research that we do here in community health is, is participatory in the sense that the research projects are designed not only for but also by and with the communities themselves. We wanted to look at how students and teachers deal with these ideas of the healthy body and the vitality message, which is an idea coming from Health Canada uh, about healthy lifestyle means active living, 
healthy eating and having a good self-esteem. The kids, they were in grade two and grade four, they're very young. They could really articulate what we call the dominant messages around health and lifestyles. For us, the biggest challenge is getting recognition for the work that social scientists, allied public health professionals do in the entire scope of the medical school and also outside. We have a wonderful champion in the current team. He has supported us in different ways and I think that this is going to help us get through some of these challenges and to expand the faculty the way we ought to, to become a first-class internationally known university.